hi guys welcome to another video now today we will be talking about the ahab spirit and the jezebel spirit and the reason is because there are so many people in this world today who have these spirits attached to them and they think it's normal they don't even know and 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 so how are you going to cast out something that you don't even know that you have with you you think it's your normal personality and that's just your character when you're not supposed to be like that and it, it is a spirit and the ahab and the jezebel spirit they're spirits that are very prominent and active in this world today and so i'm just going to go through uh, a list of characteristics so you can tell whether you have the ahab or jezebel spirit attached to you and then later on we'll go into how we can get rid of these spirits so that we can operate you know as to how god wants us to be you know we can we can shine his his light can shine through us and we, we once we don't have these things attached to our lives now the you know ahab and jezebel from the book of kings first kings and ahab was the seventh king of israel and so jezebel became his wife now the jezebel spirit is characterized by rebelliousness jezebel was a very rebellious person she thought she could have anything she wanted you know the jezebel spirit is also very domineering and manipulative and very seductive and loves to intimidate and threaten that's how the jezebel spirit operates so if you are behaving like this you have a jezebel spirit attached to you chances are it's not normal it's not supposed to be your behavior it is a spirit and there are you know you can get rid of these spirit also the jezebel spirit loves to lie and will use any any means whatsoever to come to an end that's how the jezebel spirit operates now the ahab spirit the Ahab spirit, as you know, when Ahab wanted Naboth's garden and he couldn't get it, he was very sad and depressed. And you can read the story. That's 1 Kings chapter 21. Now, the Ahab spirit is uh, uh, likes to pout and doesn't like rejection. The Ahab spirit will tolerate wickedness. As you know, how Ahab you know went along with with jezebel's suggestion in the story the ahab spirit is also double-minded in that it's it's wavering because ahab knew who god was but then when he got with jezebel he started worshiping baal he also built you know um got israel to get into this uh worshiping of false gods as well so he was double-minded you mean so that's how Ahab was. Now there are many more things I'm going to go into know about the real way that the, the ways that you can really identify the Ahab spirit operating in someone's life. The Ahab spirit is especially exceptionally nice to people. The Ahab spirit has uh, is characterized by low self worth. So you find that people who have this spirit attached to them. They're always trying to gain acceptance. So they go out of their way to be really nice to people, even sometimes to, to people who don't even see them, you know? They never, they, they, they never forgive themselves for anything that's wrong. They're all, they, they see sex as love. That's how they interpret sex. So they're, you find that they're addicted to sex, and I'm speaking any gender, any gender. The Ahab, people with the Ahab spirit, they're always fishing for compliments. It's like you have to tell them something nice for them to feel good. They're very, they're, they're not easy people to talk to and they see everything as rejection. So it makes it very difficult to have good conversations with these people. They're always seeing the fault in others and they never really look at themselves and because they're not very uh, confident in themselves, they 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 just um, always feel like they're a failure. They think that 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 they're not loved. 
they sometimes you know they do they they they, they just they're just so afraid of getting rejected they pass judgments on other people and they're always thinking that the worst is going to happen they never like think positively they're always just seeing things from the from the negative side they're always worried that the worst is going to happen you know people with this spirit they think that everybody should be nice to them and they're always telling people uh, now this is a comprehensive list that I've just gathered from different places and some of these things I knew already from learning from other pa you know pastors preaching and stuff and and it is true it is true so no wonder they they just came up with this broad term as the Ahab spirit because this is a lot of this this is how Ahab was that even though he was a king he was not the most confident and most positive person so anyway the a as i said the ahab people the the people with the ahab spirit you know they're always telling people about how others have taken advantage of them and if you don't tell them that they're a good person they they just think they're not they're always waiting for somebody to tell it to make them feel good people with the ahab spirit sadly are usually very suicidal they're usually very suicidal they 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 fear that they'll be abandoned they don't know how to function by themselves they're usually clingy and they're always comparing themselves to other people they always just always compare themselves to other people and they spend so much time and energy trying to impress people so how um the, the 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 thing that i want to get into now is how do these spirits enter someone's life the main way the main way is through rejection for some people it's rejection from from birth or even before birth from they were in the womb whether it's the mother didn't want them or the father didn't want them, they were contemplating abortion. Because some people, you know, it's right after birth for whatever reason, both parents or one parent didn't like them. And so because they didn't like them or didn't want them, they they show them this, this um, you know, it comes out in their action when the child is, is growing and so they say the worst things to them they tell them they'll never be any good you know and it just causes the child to for some people some children it will scar them deeply scar them so much that they they really believe these things and after a while the spirit comes and attach itself to them you know for not everybody it, it affects like that there are many parents who will say the worst things to children and they don't they don't take it you know they don't take it it doesn't affect their lives in any way at all but not everyone can handle those things and so that spirit comes and attaches itself to that person and it grows and just becomes like a part of their personality and they grow up into adults being like that for some persons it is wild just i mean at being adults they it happened to them the spirit entered their life it could have been through uh abuse they were abused or abandoned or rejected by a partner or a friend or someone close to you you know different people handle things in different ways and so the point is that when the spirit comes and attaches itself to you, it is trying to to fill that um, that void that you have inside because you were because you were abandoned or rejected or neglected or whatever your story was, and so that spirit just comes and keeps you company, attaches itself itself to you and you think you feel better and it just stays there there is no evil spirit that just gets up one day and just walks away they never go anywhere once they come 
if they're not properly dealt with and casted out they never go anywhere because there is no evil spirit that is there to be your friend the the bible says you know the any enemy came to steal kill and destroy so that is their purpose that's their agenda in your life so if you don't you, you cannot live a victorious life with these spirits attached to you and you're behaving in this type of type of way you know you have no confidence in yourself you're suicidal all that stuff so it is by no means uh, a good thing to have these spirits but that's how they generally enter someone's life and i'm just here to tell you that you can be free you don't have to live with these spirits you know for the rest of your life now after today when we pray you are going to be free amen now how are you going to deliver yourself the first step in in getting delivered from these spirits is to accept you have to accept that you have the spirit with you now if you assess yourself and you don't see any of these characteristics then clearly you are fine but for those who, who do you have to accept that this is real you know this is for real you cannot cast out what you don't believe is there in the first place the lord jesus took jesus jesus has freed you already at the cross from all of this but he gave you the formula you have to pray in his name and believe and you will be free amen so it is not it, it is by no means healthy and he wants you to be free jesus wants his light to shine brightly through you but that cannot happen when you have this spirit controlling you like that controlling your behavior controlling your thoughts and you know and so you can be free you can be free that's all, all i'm trying to say you can be free you need to accept it first you look into yourself and you see when you see all these characteristics that this is how you are you accept it and then you take authority over these spirits in the name of jesus you have you uh in luke saying luke chapter 10 verse 19 is where jesus gave you authority in his word he told you that you have authority to tread upon scorpions and, and serpents and upon every power of the enemy that means it doesn't matter what it is the enemy comes with it doesn't matter what you are possessed with you have the authority to drive out that spirit in the name of jesus so right now we are going to pray and you just have to come and, and align your faith with me and believe that you will be free from the Jezebel and the Ahab spirit in Jesus name. Amen. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every spirit that entered your life through trauma, through rejection. In the name of Jesus, I drive out every spirit that entered through negative words spoken over your life. I break every covenant that you have made with the kingdom of darkness, saying that you want to die, saying that you you wish you were dead. In the name of Jesus, I break that covenant. I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. I drive out every spirit of suicide in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of low self-esteem, I cast you out in the mighty name of Jesus. You spirit of rejection and trauma, I drive you out in Jesus' mighty name. Every spirit of loneliness and abuse, I drive you out. Every spirit of neglect every spirit of hurt and of fear i cast you out in the mighty name of jesus christ every spirit of rebelliousness in the name of jesus christ i command you to leave the people of god in jesus name every lying spirit in the name of jesus come out and go every spirit every strong man spirit I bind you up and I cast you down and I send you back to hell from whence you came. Every spirit of envy, every spirit of envy, hurt and fear, I command you to go out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of 
pride, every spirit of greed, I command you to go out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of pain, every spirit of low self-esteem, I command you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit preventing you from exhibiting the character of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to go out. I command you to lose the people of God in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name I decree and I declare that you are free and that you will walk in the light of the Lord I decree and I declare that no Ahab or Jezebel spirit shall keep you bound in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you were created in the image of God and you will exemplify his character and no one else is in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name amen amen now you will walk with your head held high when you are free when you are free it's not something that you you cannot fake it you cannot put it on it's not an act you cannot start behaving differently by yourself you will see you start doing things differently from how you were before god will show you a sign god will show you ways that you are free it you will be so appalled and surprised at the differences that that you're seeing in your behavior and in your in your life and that's how you know you are totally free you you already should know that you are free by believing through faith but then you will see it in your actions. You will see it in your life that you are free. And you, need, you, you will not look for acceptance anymore from anyone because you know that God has accepted you. And he said in his word that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And so you need to believe that every day. You need to believe that. You will start realizing that you don't need somebody to tell you this. You don't need to... You know to be looking for compliments you don't need to be comparing yourself to other people you will just find yourself start doing these things and so that's how you're going to know that you are free of these spirits if you see no change you just pray you just pray again you just all all it takes is faith all it takes is faith that's all it takes amen now you should you you should be you know be peaceful from now on and not be rebellious anymore. You won't find yourself blaming other people for your own issues. You won't be having suicidal thoughts. The moment something doesn't go your way or somebody doesn't accept you or your opinion, you won't be thinking like, oh, you need to kill yourself and crap like that, you know. So that's how you're going to know that you are free. No you all know that your entire your your entire behavior you'll just see your everything about your life will change it's not you who's doing it it's the holy spirit the holy spirit will will just change everything about you you'll just see god jesus emanating through you when you are free from these spirits amen it is a supernatural power of god that does it Hallelujah. I hope that you have been blessed. Now, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the videos. Sharing is important, please, and subscribing. You don't know who you can bless. Amen. Now, I'm going to go right here, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.